Unveiling the phrase, at close quarters. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning and usage of a fascinating English phrase, at close quarters. This phrase is not just a group of words. It's a nugget of language that packs a punch with its vivid imagery and context. So, let's dive in and explore this phrase in detail. At close quarters is a phrase that paints a picture of proximity and intensity. Originally stemming from military language, it refers to a situation where combatants are so close to each other that they can fight hand to hand. In modern language, it has taken on a broader meaning. Now, it describes any situation where things or people are very close to each other, often leading to direct confrontation or interaction. This phrase beautifully captures the essence of closeness and the potential for intense encounters. Understanding a phrase is one thing, but seeing it in action is another. Let's look at how, at close quarters, can be used in sentences. 1. In conflict, the two politicians debated the issue at close quarters, neither willing to back down. 2. In observation, the wildlife photographer observed the lions at close quarters, capturing their every move. 3. In living situations, living at close quarters with others in a dormitory can be challenging but rewarding. In each instance, the phrase, at close quarters, sets the stage for an environment of intimacy, intensity, or confrontation. To make this phrase a natural part of your English vocabulary, consider the following tips. 1. Visualize the scene. Every time you hear, at close quarters, picture a scene where things or people are very close. This mental image will reinforce the meaning. 2. Practice makes perfect. Try using the phrase in your daily conversations or writing, especially when describing situations where closeness and intensity are key elements. 3. Context is king. Remember that context determines the tone of at close quarters. It can describe physical proximity, intense debates, or even the thrill of observing something up close. That's a wrap on our journey through the phrase, at close quarters. We hope this exploration has brought you closer to mastering this evocative expression. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the worlds they create. So, go ahead, use, at close quarters, in your conversations or writings, and watch the language come alive. Until next time, keep learning and keep exploring.